All right, so we've got all the tools we need, all the things we have to download and install. Now we can just start using this database. So most people don't realize that SQLite 3 comes with Python. It's built in already. So there's nothing to download. There's nothing to install. It's already there. All you have to do is just sort of reference it in your code and start using it. So in order to use SQLite 3, all we have to do is import and then name it. So it's SQLite3, right? So this is just a, a blank file that we've opened in Sublime. First thing we want to do is save this and we need to save this as a Python file. So I'm going to come up here to file and save as and go to our C directory here and we need to create a new directory in order to hold all the files that we're going to be creating throughout this course. So I'm just going to right click and click new folder and let's just name this SQLite. So then we can click on here and we can name this anything we want. Uh, let's name it SQLite.py. Well, no, we don't want to name it the same thing that we import here. Eh, SQLite 3. So you go, let's just call this a database.py. And you see, as soon as we do that, things sort of change color a little bit. This becomes red. That tells us that Sublime now knows that this is a Python program, a Python file that we've created, right? So that's cool. So, all right, now we've imported SQLite 3. The next step is to create a connection. And in order to do anything, we need a connection to our database. So we need a way for this file to sort of connect and, and do stuff. So to do that, it's really easy. We just create a variable and you can call it anything you want, but I'm just gonna call this con, short for connection. And then we wanna set, set this equal to SQLite3.connect, and then we want to pass in the name of the database that we want to create. Now, this will connect to whatever we call uh, the database, and if it doesn't exist, it will create it in this directory, in this SQLite directory that we just, we just created. So uh, we can call this anything we want. Let's just call it um, customer.db. We're going to pretend we have a company, we have customers, and so we're going to create a database of those customers. So that's pretty much all we need to do. And one thing I will note, SQLite 3 allows you to create a database like we've just done, or you could also just use a database in memory. And it won't save it. You can use it in your program, but then as soon as the program ends, the database disappears. So you can do stuff to it but it's not permanent, right? So if you want to do that, I'm just going to copy this and paste. Instead of naming the database, oops, go back. Instead of naming this database, instead we just type in colon, 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 and then memory, and then another colon, right? So this will create a connection to a database in memory. Now, we're not gonna do that in this course. We wanna actually save our database so we can use it later on if we want to. But if you've just got some little thing you need to store some data, at, do some stuff to, and then delete it afterwards, this memory thing will work. So that's kinda of cool. I'll just comment that out. Okay, so we've got our connection. And if we save this, I'm gonna hit Control S on my keyboard. Now we can run this. It won't actually do much. Well, that's not actually true. Uh, to run this, head over to your Windows Start menu and type in git bash, right? Just search for git bash and that will open up this. And if we go PWD, we could see we're in the C users flat planet directory. Now my computer is called flat planet. It's just the name of it. I don't think the world is flat. I just find it hilarious that some people do. So that's what I named my computer. Whatever your computer name is or whatever your username is, you'll likely see that there. So what we want to do first off is change directories. We want to move into that directory we just created with our sublime text. So to do that, we use the CD command, stands for change directory, and then just type in C and then SQLite. I think that's the name of the directory we just created with Sublime. And if we type in ls, we can see our database.py file that we've just created. And that is just this file right here, right? Database.py. And there's not much going on in here just yet. But we can still run this. And to run it, 
as long as we're in this directory, we just type in Python and then the name of the file, which is database.py. And if we do that, it doesn't look like anything's happened. But now if we type in ls, we see this customer.db file. It's been created. And that is just this guy right here. So the database wasn't, wasn't there before, but when we ran this connection, it noticed that there wasn't a there wasn't a database called customer DB and we're trying to connect to customer DB. So it just creates it for us. So that's a real quick and easy way to create a database. And uh, that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll create a table and then we'll start adding data to that table and should be fun.